Well, I think happy won't be the, the right wording for um, Brexit because we, of course, we still regret the fact that there will be a Brexit. But we respect the decision of uh, uh, the British uh, people. Um, and now that there is a, a concept withdrawal agreement, we think it is uh, satisfying, it's uh, workable, and we will invest our energy now in the political agreement that has to be worked out this week, and which will, of course, uh, define the, the details of the future relationship between the United Kingdom and, uh, and Europe. How ambitious does the political declaration need to be in order that Theresa May can pass it through the House of Commons? Well, of course, both sides have to pass Parliament. This goes for the UK, but this also goes for the Europeans. So it has to be ambitious. Uh, the UK is a large trading partner, especially for, uh, for the Netherlands. There are a lot of Dutch people living in the, in the UK. We have a close security cooperation. The, so this um, uh, uh, political declaration really uh, uh, lies the foundation for our uh, future relationship. So it has to be ambitious. So the transition period, when should it end? Well, I don't want to speculate about transition uh, period. Um, it's, uh, it's still open and it, it won't be helpful if I um, would fill it in right away. Could it be 2022? Well, you, you're you trying me to make it uh, uh, more specific. I don't think this will be wise. My, my, my whole um, attention will be paid on the uh, political um, uh, declaration that will uh, lie the foundations for a future relationship which is extremely important to the Netherlands, as it is to the, the UK. And you know, we want strong trading relationship. We want uh, to continue the security cooperation. We want security for the Dutch people living in, uh, in the UK. So there's a lot of work to be done there. How would you describe the political situation in the UK? Mr Barnier said it was volatile. I would say uh, quite interesting. <laughs>